Good evening, John Achterberg, a proper, true Tramway Rovers legend. Now, we'll start off by saying, John, this season could be the one season where Tramway Rovers are the only team in Merseyside to get silverware. Um, I guess, yes. Uh, everything is, uh, is still in the Cup, no? Or is it not in the Cup? Um, I think they, they are still in the in the FA Cup, so... Um, but, yeah, it's possible. Hopefully, uh, they can win that uh, final in the... Or how do you call it? The Papa John Trophy or something like that? Is that the correct name? And, and obviously, they can still get promoted as well. Huh? Uh, Trami can still win the league, if you like, if they get a decent run together. So, that would be good for the people in the world. Huh? Well, it, in the conditions that this season's brought with the, the pandemic mm. and the, the setback at the start of the season with losing Jacko as the boss, it's a, it's a great achievement just to get to Wembley alone this season for Tramia. Yeah, um, uh, very, very good, really. Not, not a good start, of course. First, Mickey leaving, then Jacko taking over. And and then seeing that they were struggling a little bit, and then uh, Ian Dawes, uh, I know from uh, Liverpool, come uh, to take over for the temporary, and they start winning again, and then Keitel coming in, and now they seems to find a rhythm, which is good to see, and hopefully they can uh, crack call now and get a good run together to finish at least top three, because it's be good to go back after the disaster last year with the season being cancelled halfway and uh, obviously the standing state uh, we didn't help. Now, Tramia are historically good in the cup. Now, you yourself, John, you joined the club in 1998 at an absolutely perfect time in terms of cup runs, John. Which one was your favourite out of all of those memorable games that you were involved in? Uh, yeah, there's a few good ones, to be honest. Uh, me personally, uh, in the Bolton away game where we were winning 1-0 uh, and I made a few decent saves that game. Sets off uh, us off to the final, really, uh, with the, them saves, obviously, instead of uh, drawing or losing there. And we got, I think, also a goal, but was not offside, disallowed. But uh, yeah, on, on the right moments uh, and in the last second of the game, I made a, a decent save to to win the game 1-0, but gives us a good advantage to really uh, get to the final. Uh, but yeah, we had the Southampton game, of course. Uh, I was talking before uh, uh, with my brother-in-law about it. Uh, he watched it back again, uh, the 3-0 halftime down and winning 4-3. And... Um, we um, we had the, obviously the Everton away game, but it was not a bad game to win. Um, where uh, Steve Yates and obviously Jason uh, run the show in that game and winning 3 0 in a full Goodison was not bad, to be fair. And not because I'm now live work on the other side, but as a as a Tramia player to win is obviously not bad there. And uh, yeah, we had a few of them, you no. Know, uh, I remember Sunderland at home winning 1-0. I make a few good saves in that game. Um, can't, can't name more, really. Uh, we, 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 we beat uh, Fulham away, I think. Um, we had so many good games no? and, and good results against the cup teams. Uh, people say about the Millwall away game was a good game to... Uh, yeah, also, I made a penalty save, but made a few saves in that game. The penalty save, obviously, but was a lot highlighted, but uh, I think it was just a penalty save. It could happen in any game, you know, the week after you play Luton and you make a penalty save, and then it's less highlighted because, obviously, it was the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. But, yeah, in, in a good period, we, we got, I think... Uh, Three times FA Cup, uh, last eight, and uh, and I think League Cup final, and, and another last eight in the League Cup one time. So, yeah, in my period, we had a, a pretty successful cup runs. Uh, obviously, also one down when we got relegated from the championship, and I think that came really in on the back of all them cup games really doing so well there. We end up doing double games and. Uh, and we had to catch up on five games and, and end up being 
playing with the small squad we have uh, three games a, a week which was too short to have enough energy in the team to beat the the quality teams and and, and that was a shame really so on on the good side uh, yes nice to have all them cup games on the bad side it also cost us probably staying in the championship at the time those the squad that we had over those few years we had some fabulous players especially mm -hmm. around the the Everton and the Southampton period the season that you mentioned that we went down what was the difference between playing in the league and playing in the cup in terms of the the atmosphere in the squad were you, did you feel like you were more prepared for the cup games and the league games uh, we were a difficult team to play with, uh, against you know um, if you want to compare it to, to Burnley in, in now in in the uh, Premier League we were a similar team you know we we pressed high we we played a lot of long balls I hit the ball pretty much uh, 18 to 18 second ball on on big Wayne or Ned Kelly or Gary Jones was always dangerous we had uh, obviously Chalana who threw the ball uh, to the back post as a, as a corner from pretty much everywhere in their half and I took all the free kicks in our half so every every free kick in our half or throwing in their half was dangerous and, and it was difficult to play we put a high put them on the high pressure we had some quality players of course as well and speed in the team uh, and and you know the way I was playing high lines uh, suited the way uh, we wanted to play at the time uh, when Shidi and Aldo, of course, uh, were doing that. Aldo was the manager and Shidi was the assistant uh, who put that together. So it, it clicked well and, and we had some quality players. No? I already named a few, but yeah, Kenny Irons was a good player. You know, John McGreal we had as well. Clint, you know, later on we had Ryan Taylor, but, you know, Jason Kumas, Steve Yates, Big George in midfield uh, was a machine as well, and 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 Gary Jones. You could play in every position really. Ned was quality parky on the wing, so we had speed. We had uh, quality technical player Alan Mon. You know, so we, we had we had a decent team on that, uh, and and I, I think uh, with the energy and the fight spirit and the experience from the players, you know, Moxie was there in my first year, and and Liam O'Brien as well. So. Yeah, we, we had a better team than people probably thought of. Uh, so, and and in in the in the cup is uh, it's a one off. It's a pressure for the opponent as well. They they obviously expect to beat us. They might didn't uh, think that we are um, a difficult team to play. And then you know things like that can happen. But in the end, we had also some decent quality which we showed regular against Premier League teams. In the midst of all those fabulous games and the cup matches, we did get to a cup final, John, the 2000 Worthington Cup final against Leicester. Um, you didn't play in that match. That must have been difficult to take. Um, well, yeah, it, it was not a... <laughs> it's never nice to be out of the team, no, and, and especially you played most of the, the games before. Um, obviously, Joe Murphy played in the end, uh, um, who, who had not a lot of experience at that time yet, and and obviously was out for six weeks with an injury. And the week before, he came back in the team. So uh, obviously, the decision was there to be made that uh, they wanted to play, or although obviously was the manager who uh, decided to play Joe. And yeah, in the end. You want to play as a goalie yourself, so you can be unhappy about that. That is clear, uh, but you have to uh, accept the manager's decisions in the end and deal with it and and just uh, carry on. But uh, yeah, it's always not nice because you want to play finals yourself, especially also uh, the way I was playing in the Bolton away game and get us a half decent hand. I think to get to the final as well but that is football in the end and you you know now I'm on the other side you you have this kind of situation sometimes and yeah players have to deal with it so I was a player and I had to deal with that situation as well how did the 
conversation go with Aldo? Because I'm sure it was a, a difficult subject for you both to approach at the time. Um, it was not really any conversation, to be honest. Uh, it was uh, clear um, that uh, the week before we played, I think, Newcastle for the quarterfinal, and uh, he played Joe, and I was out, and that's how it went. And, you know, there was no explanation, really, I think, but uh, maybe he did give it later uh, in the press, but for me... Uh, he, uh, he just decided that it was time for Joe to play. So, And great to see Joe back at the club now, all them years later, as, as Scotty's deputy. Yeah, he is a, Joe is a good guy, you know, and, and he's good for the team spirit as well. Uh, that is, that's, and he had a great career after he left Trummy. He'd been to a few decent clubs. So he has done well for himself and he's back in the wheel. So... Uh, for Joe, it's good to have not to travel again uh, all over the country, but uh, just being close at home. So, uh, and I still speak to Joe. Uh, he's a nice guy. So, uh, we still uh, talk a little bit about the good days. So, with, with the the Wembley finding, uh, final looming for for Tramia, mm. John, obviously the players are going to be delighted. Some of those players are maybe never going to have played there before and probably never play there again but what a treat for the fans to see Tramia play at Wembley but in the same breath really bad that the fans can't be there Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not sure if they can uh, push it over the final over the 17th of uh, uh, May because that it means then they can have some fans in the stadium about 10,000 I believe but it probably will be the final will be uh, earlier than that so yeah that's a shame really uh, because uh, you want to enjoy as a fan of Trump here yeah, if you get to a final in to Wembley so I guess there's only one way that you next year have to do it again to make that happen but yeah it, it's it's a shame uh, and, and frustrating as well really for this uh, situation but uh, yeah at the moment, there's more important things, you know, uh, with this COVID situation that the people stay healthy and hopefully don't uh, get badly ill from it. So, uh, and you you understand that uh, the rules are being made to protect the people. So, and, and that's what you have to accept. Huh? Well, Rovers, as ever, looking to do things the hard way and it couldn't be any harder than taking on Sunderland. They're, they're going to be well up for it. Yeah, of, of course. And there's a, a big name, no? And uh, you only have to think back to the memories we had. Uh, we beat Sunderland 1 0, clean get sent off. And that game, actually, I if you see it back, made a few decent saves. So we have good memories uh, on paper. Being strong doesn't mean you are guaranteed to win the game because fighting spirits. Uh, can get you a, a long, long way, you know. When and as you know, you beat Oxford away, who is in League One. So if you can beat Oxford away in, from League One, then you can beat Sunderland away. As long as you're all positive and you work uh, to the maximum efforts you have, and try to play the best game you ever played, then you have a good chance to get a result against them as well. And uh, football. Is no guarantee to to win or lose, so you have to work hard for it, and hopefully you can get the right result to any team you play. And we showed that in the past, and that's how you have to use it as well as a as in your mind that if you give everything you've got, then there is a chance. And hopefully, John Tramier aren't the only success this season, and we we send our best to you. Yourself and Jürgen Klopp and your bid to finish the top four. Yeah, that will be a, a tricky uh, situation at the moment, but uh, we 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 feel confident and we just have to start winning again and starting Saturday against Sheffield and uh, and then kick on from there. And like I said, be positive and thinking about uh, what we have to do to win the next games, and that's what we will try. You know, you you. If you are positive, you have more chance to win than being negative. So that's how it is. Huh? 